हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट हिस्ट्री ऑफ बायोकेमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट वी विल डिफाइन बायोकेमिस्ट्री बायो मींस लाइफ एंड केमिस्ट्री मींस द केमिकल चेंजेस आर प्रोसेसेस व्हिच अकर इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म सो बायोकेमिस्ट्री इज द साइंस ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम साइंस व्हिच डील्स विद द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट इज वेरिएंग फ्रॉम a uh, small microorganism bacteria or viruses to a very uh, complex m- m- organism that is human being uh, is the perspective of life is changes uh, uh, in every year month or a day that's why there is a need to study the every perspective of life uh, there is a need to study the history of biochemistry mm-hmm. we will started the history of biochemistry from um, 1650 in uh, from 1650 onward uh, the um, the work of robert boyle considered the biochemistry is a separate branch in chemistry uh, which deals with living organism and the processes are changes which occurred in living organism at a cellular or molecular level uh after uh, 1650 in 1665 robert hook studied uh first robert hook studied the cell cellular um, nature of our uh, he said that uh, cell is the fundamental unit of life and studied that cell under a microscope for the very first time so that is uh, uh, robert hook who studied a cork cell under a microscope for the first time uh, after 1665 in 1780 in tyne levisor uh, gives a hypothesis uh and tynel levisor gives a hypothesis about the oxidation of uh, um kindle which is oxidized in air um uh, which is just similar to that of respiration the kindle and respire kindle oxidation and respiration uh, is the similar phenomena is both are needed oxygen for oxidation phenomena uh respiration is uh, also a metabolic process which will gives us uh, carbon dioxide along with some amount of energy in the form of in atp so both of these processes needed oxygen for its oxidation purposes that this concept is given by the scientist levisor in 1780 after uh, 1780 1800 there is um, around about in early 1800 the concept of vitalism is much more common and vitalism is based on vital force theory which is given by the scientist uh, um, by giving uh, by, um, by proposing that the organic matter is only having a vital force inside the, the living organism are only originated from living organism from organic matter it cannot be synthesized in the laboratory that is the wolder concept or vitalism in 1800 um the scientists are thinking that uh, organic uh, the, the, the living organism are only originated from living organism or organic matter it cannot be synthesized in the laboratory which is <coughs> disproved <coughs> by one of the scientists in 1828 frederick wolder who synthesized first the organic molecule urea from an inorganic ammonium cyanate in the laboratory uh, this ammonia is for the first time synthesized by the scientist in the laboratory from inorganic substances ammonium cyanate the formula of urea is nh2 bonded to carbonyl carbon atom is having two nh2 at two side and one carbonyl carbon in the middle of these two amino group um in 1850 frederick meister um studied um a fish cell for the uh, by studying a protein over there in fish cell but he is uh, get uh, successful in extracting uh, some of the cell from the nuclei of those fish cell uh, but he is not succeeded to um to achieve those protein but he extracted the cells which is having um nuclear nature from nuclei of fish sperm he extracted some of the cell which is having acidic nature and that's why he given a name nucleic acid 
after 1850 there is a um, hypothesis given a reaction uh, chemical reaction performed in 1896 by edward Beitner. Uh, that is alcoholic fermentation in um, in 1896 edward performed a chemical reaction an aerobic reaction that is a for alcoholic fermentation uh, in cell uh, in cell free yeast extract in 1900, in early 1900, there is a recognition of most of the main micromolecule or bimolecule, which uh, include the main micro or bimolecule include carbohydrate, proteins, lipids, along with nucleic acid. Along with these main um, nucleic acid, Along with these main micromolecules, there are some uh, micromolecules also present over there, but in cells, the micromolecules are in living cell, the micromolecule is also present, but the recognition of that micromolecule is occurred uh, at around uh, around about 1900. In 1903, Gregor Mendel uh, gives a, um, a law of triads are a uh, law of inheritance of triad. He studied a dominant and recessive character in peas plant by crossing, um, by doing a crossing over their uh, different triads to give a recessive and dominant character, which is transferred from one generation to another one generation. Uh, this is this law of inheritance is almost applicable up to about around about 30 years. Um, after 1903 and 1920, James Sumner gives a concept of um, an enzyme. An enzyme is basically a protein in nature. And this enzyme also acts as a catalyst. Uh, the last two one uh, scientist is uh, over here. So I will write it over there in the board. In uh, 1929, Arwan Schrodinger, Arvin Schrodinger gives um, a molecular basis. Arvin Schrodinger uh, tells us or gives a hypothesis about the molecular basis of life and write a book on molecular basis of life and write a book on what is life and he is awarded a nobel prize for this one work and in 1944 um, avery and mccarty in 1944 um, avery and mccarty It, what is life? In 1944, Avery and Hardy gives a concept about the genetic transfer or the transfer of genetic material from one generation to another one generation. So genetic transfer concept is given by Avery and McCarty in 1944. And in 1950, after 1944, in 1950, Frederick Graff gives an idea of, uh, gives a hypothesis about the transmission of those genetic material from, uh, from parents to the offspring. In 1953, Whitson and Crick murder of DNA is uh, Whitson and Crick's gave a double helical structure or model of a DNA and uh, explain the structure and different function of the DNA or role of DNA in different cells. So in 1958, Matthew and Melson and Franklin Stahi presented semi-conservative replication that there are different types of replication occurred in DNA. Replication is the copy formation of DNA from parent DNA. So uh, if, the, um, uh, uh, if the offspring DNA is having some of the character of their parents and some of the character new, so th this type of replication is called semi-conservative replication. 
which is first time presented or gives a hypothesis by uh, Mithew, Milson, and Franklin in 1958. In, in 1965, Peter Mitchell, Peter Mitchell gives a hypothesis about uh, proton, uh, proton motive force, that is proton, proton motive force, or we can also call it electrochemical gradient, which is created over there in, uh, uh, inside, um, in between the mitochondrial matrix and the inner membrane of the mitochondria. When the proton is transferred in the metabolic pathway from the matrix of the mitochondria to the inner membrane of the mitochondria to the space of intermembranous space of the mitochondria, then there is potential gradient developed. And those hydrogen, when it is big, uh, going to, from uh, intermembranous space to the uh, matrix of the mitochondria. So by, uh, by a complex of um, uh, that electron transport chain and that complex is called ATP synthase. When this uh, proton will transfer to this um, ATP synthase complex, there will be an electrochemical gradient created uh, and that force is, uh, is first time uh, defined by the um, uh, Peter Mitchell. Uh, and he interlinked these two phenomena that when the proton is transferred from matrix to the intermembranous space, there is electropotential gradient created. And those proton, when it is big converted into that one matrix by ATP synthase, there will be ATP synthesis occurred. So he linked these two phenomena that the with proton transfer, there is ATP synthesis occurred. And most of the scientists is laughed at his work. And after a long time, when the, his work is get proved by many, many experiment, he is awarded with Nobel Prize for this one work. That is uh, Peter Mitchell, who, who gives a hypothesis about this one force, which we will study, inshallah, in detail in metabolic biochemistry. In late 1960s, Sutherland discovered the role of cyclic AMP and secondary messenger. So cyclic AMP, which act as a secondary messenger. In 1977, Singer gives the sequencing of DNA, concept of sequencing of DNA, RN genetics. In 18, 1983, there is a development of one of the most important technique, or we can say um, uh, it is uh, the most important um, uh, technique used in the laboratory of uh, biochemistry that is polymerase chain reaction pcr uh, most of the sampling of our biochemical data is done by this pcr in 1991 public human genome project is given to the uh, public sector and uh, the genome different genome are studied over there in 1997 first animal was cloned as you all of know will uh, will know the name of uh, that cloned animal that is Dolly. In 2003, uh, human genome sequences is get completed. The sequential order of the human genome is uh, known, uh, fully known in 2003. In 2012, uh, Yamnaka and Garden recognizes four genes and those four genes are involved in the um, big conversion of the mature cell of the bone back into poly, uh, um, polypotent uh, somatic cell, polypotent somatic cell in CRISR, um, CISPR uh, is uh, um, much more um, developed or we can say it is much more used in 2013 for the DNA editing, for the editing of the nucleotide basis of the DNA. In 2015, Aziz Sankar got Nobel Prizes for the repairing of DNA of the different sequences of the DNA. In 2017, gene condition. Um, in 2017, there are um, there are many genes are get known, and we can say the scientist recognizes all those genes which are involved in the diseased condition of diabetes mellitus 2. Uh, leukemia and cyst fibrosis. These three are much more common diseases or diseased condition for which uh, the which one genes are responsible for that is uh, 
um, the gene is get recognized in the condition um, uh, which is developed after the this gene uh, re, uh, repair um, impairment that is diabetes mellitus 2 leukemia and cyst fibrosis in 2019 uh, COVID-19 is one of the pandemic is uh, you all of know will know about that one pandemic that in 2019 COVID-19 and COVID-19 uh, okay I think these three uh, are not visible over here on board so I have to write it over here that in 2003 um, to 2013 this uh, um, in 2013 growth human organized and vaccine growth human organized and vaccine is developed for different infectious diseases in 2015 aziz aziz sankar got nobel prizes for the uh, dna repairing for the repair of most of the nucleotide bases of dna aziz sankar Then a lot of work in DNA repairing and he is awarded a Nobel Prize for this one work. In 2017, a diseased condition, a gene was, a different genes was recognized. Those uh, genes were recognized which causes common disease condition common disease conditions like like diabetes mellitus 2 like diabetes mellitus 2 ek hota hai diabetes mellitus 1 another one is diabetes mellitus 2 Another one is cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis. And the third one is leukemia. These are the common diseased condition which is caused by most of by, by the genes, and those gene impairment is um, shown by the uh, scientists in 2017. That is the new uh, discovery. Uh, in uh, genetics uh, to recognize all those genes which causes these common infections uh, okay in 2019 uh, COVID-19 uh, that is pandemic the biochemical tool and biochemical test are play a very important role in the control of those um, uh, in the control as well as curing our precaution of uh, this um, those pan pandemic condition which has ended up in 2022 so thank you so much we'll meet you in um, in my next one lecture inshallah